A new vision of development for CJCU is emerging. We are building a friendly campus, not just for Taiwanese students, but for scholars and students from around the world. We are considering people, what they eat and how they learn. We are turning into a comprehensive and high quality institution. From our 11 years of experience in the Tsusan Spotlight Village, we want to integrate the concepts of food, lodging, and study into the CJCU curriculum. We are making the space open and flexible, turning them into places for dining and lodging. We will connect with local communities and bridge the gap between society, business, and Changrung Christian University. We are gradually developing a base, or a center, for the incubation of values. We are building our enterprise to conceptualize the wonder of local life through cooperation of academia and industry, through course design for learning, through promoting practical learning, through connecting to local farmers, local arts and crafts, local talents, into the platform of a university, because this is a system with local business people's experience and wisdom in addition to our educational resources. We flip the classrooms in the way of learning. We reinvent the structure. Through education, we help future generations envision different possibilities, only by continually opening until the main body of the university is more than just teachers and students, but includes participation and practice from society. When the market enters the school, it brings certain values. Social realities will impact the campus. Teachers and students will witness the evolution of these realities together and accumulate learning experiences. I think CJCU is becoming an education park in Taiwan. I think we are ready. We have two world role models. She is definitely our model, Dr. Jane Goodall. She's willing to be the honorary dean of our International College of Practice and Education for the Environment. She gives us a specific direction. Through the local practices, we are accumulating Taiwan experience. And through Dr. Jane Goodall's World Network, the Roots and Shoots Network, we hope to attract more students who will learn the Taiwan experience and promote Taiwan to the world. We have also partnered with the 2006 Nobel Laureate, Dr. Muhammad Yunus. We launched our Yunus Social Business Research Center. We hope with the mentoring of Dr. Yunus, we can actualize university social responsibility. We also joined his social network to connect Taiwan globally so we can care more for needy groups internationally. I think Taiwan is a place worthy of being learned about among Chinese societies. In the past, the Erun River was severely polluted. A decade ago, through the efforts of Professor Ching Yi Hong, in cooperation with community rangers, a large-scale community participation was fostered. The Erun River is right next to CJCU. We have a special responsibility for this river. Responding to government policy in 2002, we set up the CJCU River Conservation Center. We assist Taiwan's government and encourage the public to get involved in restoring the river. Since we began enhancing the environment and involving different groups, I have received great support. Through these activities, we hope to partner with neighboring communities and environmental organizations. CJCU is a pioneer in eco-conservation projects and in knowing how to make good use of limited resources. For instance, CJCU encourages neighboring community residents to participate in eco-friendly projects and promotes relevant plans for wetland conservation. We hope that we can succeed. We devote ourselves to the restoration of the once polluted Irwin River. 
Let's protect the Ururun River. I have led my students to participate in those ecological conservation projects. Even after they graduate, they consider the experience beneficial. Therefore, I think we're on the right educational path. Yes, we are the CJCU River Patrol Team. We changed the Irwin River. But when we received the fourth National Environmental Education Award in 2016, we realized that the river is changing us too. It changed our attitude and our perspective towards creation. Most important of all, during the process, we facilitated human connections. We linked the neighboring community to CJCU and have taken up environmental education as our responsibility. From a child to an entrepreneur, from a community to a town, as long as you know that your eco-friendly vision is spreading, you will roll up your sleeves and get to work. To me, this is what an advanced Taiwan should be. In my opinion, some people are and have been setting environmental conservation in Taiwan in motion. And this is how regional revitalization can be made possible. We share the same objectives and core values at CJCU. In addition to nurturing our students' professional knowledge, we dedicate ourselves to promoting moral education. So I think, like CJCU, we follow humanistic principles and practices. Both our faculty and our educational program are designed to bless our society. CJCU offers a future perspective and points us in that direction. I have visited CJCU several times and have become friends with them. I observe that our Malaysian students can adapt perfectly to almost every course provided by CJCU. On their graduation, they can be interns in Taiwanese enterprises and successfully find promising jobs in Malaysia. We hope that more than interacting with Taiwan cities, we can partner with Taiwanese businesses on international industrial cooperation. This time, the mayor of Cebu City met with the Tainan City Mayor and signed an MOU for a bachelor's degree program of orchid industry application. We believe that Taiwan and Malaysia can now tightly bond through this international industry university cooperative project. And then our Malaysian students can have more opportunities to study in Taiwan. The demand of industry gives rise to the need for professional higher education. Then comes the need of international linkage. Therefore, we promote the joint degree of CJCU and UCTS. Our students in the bachelor's degree program application are promised an opportunity to go abroad for further study. Our CJCU students are expected to develop an international perspective. They're capable of participating in global student mobility. Meanwhile, for all international students from our partner institutions, when they participate in global mobility, they're very welcome to study at CJCU. Being here is worth your time, even a lot of your time. It's my hope that our university will become important as a source of knowledge and as a base. In the past few years before Taiwan's government had instituted their new Southern policy, we actually were already establishing relationships with many of the countries in the government's plan. We began focusing on Hong Kong, Macau, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam, the Philippines, and eventually Thailand. We've already been at it for several years. Another task we will gradually take on is our social responsibility, not only encompassing Taiwan, but extending internationally. The university takes international social responsibility seriously. This is an important development as we move to the next stage. 
We will send our students to sister schools for experiential learning. Then we will not merely send students out. In fact, CJCU should be a destination university for receiving all of this university's colleges and all students. And students from the four corners of the world will meet at CJCU. Our long-range goal is to create something unique, a Taiwan-located university that operates differently from all others. I think that among the universities in Taiwan, Changrung Christian University offers a lot of educational advantages. At a time when all universities in Taiwan are worried, I came back to this school and found that the president and the teachers are very optimistic positive about turnaround. When I saw all these subtle things, I felt that this is a hope. CJCU is moving towards that hope, and I hope that all the people in Taiwan can see this and face this difficulty with CJCU, so that when all the difficulties are overcome, there will follow opportunities to give back to Taiwan society. Let's work together. No, Michelle. Now we have an important job to do, to make the atmosphere in CJCU attractive and charming. Our goal is conceptualized as the Spotlight Village on the CJCU campus. The ARC restaurant is our first cooperative venture. The second step is to redesign our dormitory number one, to include an international youth hostel. This will create an integrated lodging facility on campus. But what is more important is that CJCU perform its role as an educational institution. We already have a lot of education and we are ready to do a good job. CJCU will be doing better and better. This is a good university. Do your best. I am both very surprised and very amazed. This school is very devoted. Now is the time to have the feedback. We are ready. We can do it.